the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. If you're interested in starting a longevity business, I can help you do that. I can help you build your business, and you can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. I'm going to be doing regular phone uh, phone seminars, I guess you could say, uh, for my friend Dixie in Texas, and we're going to be doing our first one this Sunday. If you're interested in learning more about that, you can send me an email, ben at kfco.com. I'll give you the scoop on that, and I also encourage you to check out our YouTube videos that my friend Amanda and I are doing on skincare, and you can also send me an email, ben at kfco.com, and I'll send you a couple of links for that as well. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. We're talking about arginine, very important for, well, important for a lot of things, but it's important for liver health as well. Yesterday we talked to a, a guy about hepatitis C, so it got me thinking about liver health issues. Just reading yesterday, America's liver disease epidemic, are you at risk? A new health epidemic is sweeping the country, and doctors warn it poses a grave threat to millions of Americans. They're calling it NASH now, non uh, I, we called it, in pharmacy school, we called it non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. The new designation is NASH, N-A-S-H, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. How do you like that? It's a form of hepatitis, inflamed liver. Steato means fat. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, S-T-N-A-S-H. Steatohepatitis is fatty liver, inflamed fatty liver, non-alcoholic inflamed fatty liver. In any case... According to the article here from Newsmax Health, over the past two decades, the incidence of fatty liver disease has doubled in 20 years. It's doubled. Now, and they say in advanced cases, you need a liver transplant. NASH is becoming the next big epidemic to hit America, says Anurag Maheshwari, MD, a liver specialist, liver genius. It's becoming the next big epidemic. Is he telling people, oh, make sure you got your vitamin A. Make sure you stay off of fructose. And by the way, there's a huge fructose connection to liver disease. Could our epidemic or of liver health issues be related to the glut of, uh, of products that contain high fructose corn syrup? Maybe. Sounds good to me, right? High fructose corn syrup has a toxicity profile. It's very similar to alcohol. I'd say it's a pretty darn good bet that at least has something to do with an epidemic of liver disease. The point is here, we're not condemned to our diseases, folks. These are lifestyle issues. These are choices we make. If you've been diagnosed with hepatitis C or any other hepatitis, you have control because bad living is the core of these disease states. Hepatitis is supposedly a viral issue, but how many people who are diagnosed with hepatitis are actually dealing with a hepatitis virus, with hep A, B, C, D, or E? How many people who got supposedly have hepatitis C actually had their blood tested for antibodies to these viruses? fact of the matter is, an inflamed liver, whether it's caused by a virus or not, has a connection, has a very important connection to lifestyle choices that we're making. If you've got hepatitis, if you've been diagnosed with hep C or A or B, your best bet is to be kind to your liver. If any organ bears the brunt of a toxic lifestyle, it's going to be the detox organ called the liver. Next to the heart and the brain, the liver is probably the most important and the most multifunctional structure in the body. It's the largest structure in the body, inside the body. The skin is technically larger, but that's on the outside of the body. The liver is the internal organs, largest, it's the largest organ in the internal environment of the body and has a role to play in almost every single thing that the body does. If you have any health challenge, especially long-term degenerative disease challenges, you can rest assured that you probably have a liver health issue going on as well. So why do you suppose liver diseases are becoming such a problem? Well, in my humble opinion, sh blood sugar issues are paramount. Dysglycemia, that's a fancy way of saying messed up blood sugar, D-Y-S. Dys means messed up. Glycemia is Latin for blood sugar. Dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and considering the liver is the capital T, capital H, capital E, the main sugar processing organ, I have to tell you that if liver disease is an epidemic, sugar probably has a role to play. Our excess ingestion of sugar has a large role to play. Could liver disease have something to do with obesity? Well, considering that the liver is the main organ in the body that's charged with processing fat, once again, I'd say obesity probably has something to do with our epidemic of liver disease. It's hard to say what the most important function of the liver is, but 
probably a, a good case could be made that it's uh, the liver is a digestive organ primarily. After food is broken down in the stomach and goes into the intestine and then it's absorbed into the blood, the next stop is the liver. In fact, everything we eat when we're healthy anyway, has to be processed by the liver. The more toxicity that's coming into our body through food, the more toxicity the liver is going to be dealing with. Now, keep in mind, folks, the liver is amazing when it comes to detoxification. It has got a detoxification system that would take a, a, a huge building it to fill up if it was done with machinery. The detox, the detox system in the, in the liver that's made up of enzymes that breaks, breaks down poisons is absolutely mind-boggling. It's intelligent. It can adjust. It can learn. It can upregulate itself when, when there's more toxins present. You'll get more detoxification enzymes. Alcohol is the major liver toxin. That's, that's what most people know of when they think of liver toxicity. But foods can be equally problematic. The more food poisons we're ingesting, and that includes McDonald's and Marie Callender's and Ruby Tuesdays and French fry grease and hormones and meat and milk and preservatives and antibiotics, the more of these things we're eating, the more work our liver is going to be doing. And because the liver is also responsible for processing prescription drugs, the more medications we're on, once again, the harder our livers are going to have to be working. This isn't going to show up on the side effect profile, by the way. You can go through your side effect profile, and you really should if you're on a prescription drug. It's probably a good idea to read the side effects and the adverse effects on the, on the little package insert which they don't like to give you, but you should insist on getting the package insert from your pharmacist. I remember I used to hand out the package insert when I was a pharmacist, and Kmart didn't like that very much at all, and they warned me not to do it. And the doctors didn't like it either. They told me, oh, what are you doing giving my patient the package insert? You should know. I gave them the package insert because I thought the patient should know what they're getting themselves into. Not that people really read the package insert, but you should. The point is, is that you can read your package insert and liver issues aren't going to show up for the most part unless your drug specifically affects the liver, like statin drugs, for example, specifically affect the liver. But for most drugs, they're not going to tell you that your liver enzymes are going to be uh, compromised and your, your, your liver's ability to, to detox substances and process foods and, and clear out food poisons is going to be compromised. And now you're going to run higher risks for all other diseases. This is a, a hidden problem with prescription drugs. The more we take, the harder our livers are going to be working. And the liver processes sugar. So the more carbs we're eating, the harder our liver is going to be working. This is a huge, huge problem, folks. There's two major types of dietary sugars. You've got glucose and you've got fructose. Those are the two main kinds of sugars. Ordinary table sugar is a combination of glucose and fructose. And the average American is ingesting half a pound of this stuff a day. And a lot of it is fructose. All right, got more to say about this. In fact, we'll talk about this tomorrow, this uh, very important connection between sugar and the liver and uh, also arginine and what you can do. Arginine's got some really interesting roles to play when it helps the body process sugar. All right, I'm Farmer's Ben. We're coming back after this. Don't... Today is an important day. It's your day to be ready. Take care of your family and buy your emergency food supply from the Freeze Dry Guy. Because today, the Freeze Dry Guy introduces our Mountain House and Packaway one month food supply. Today, get the Freeze Dry Guy's 30 day premium. Unit normally three sixty four, still priced at two sixty three. Save one hundred and one dollars. Buy two cases normally seven twenty seven, still priced at five oh six. Save two twenty two. Or choose three thirty day premium units normally one thousand ninety one, now only seven forty eight. Save three hundred forty three dollars from the freeze dry guy. These premium units are packed with the highest quality Mountain House entrees, meats, vegetables, and pack away brand freeze dried pineapple and dehydrates such as milk, ABC stew, and rolled oats. Two hundred eighty nine half cup servings. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. That's freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. Free shipping to the lower 48. Hurry, our Mountain House and Packaway one-month supply sale ends soon. So call now, 866-404-3663. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step -step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the Total Transformation for free. 
All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now, 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Many fact- if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. We are the premier independent talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. G-C-N. New article from uh, Medical Hypothesis regarding long-term statin therapy. Are we trading stronger hearts for weaker brains, apparently? Well, you know, cholesterol is a major part of brain health, a major part of brain cells. Are we trading stronger hearts for weaker brains? I don't think statin drugs are going to give you a stronger heart anyway. Statin drugs simply lower cholesterol. And and as we were talking about at the beginning of the program, this cholesterol hypothesis, this idea that you make too much cholesterol and cholesterol creates clots in the blood, is really just a hypothesis. It's never really been shown to be true. So statin drugs, uh, regarding long-term statin therapy, are we trading stronger hearts for weaker brains? No, we're not, because we're not getting stronger hearts for weaker brains. We're, We're getting poisoned hearts and poison bodies for weaker brains. If you're on a statin drug, you guys, I am telling you, nothing says medical hypnosis, entrancement by the medical model, more than taking a statin drug, than poisoning your liver, poisoning your body's cholesterol-making system, just because your doctor told you or some representative of the, of the medical model who's profiting off of our ignorance has told us that poisoning the cholesterol system of the body is somehow good for the heart or good for anything in the body. It's not. 
There's no drugs that are good for anything in the body. Yes, there's drugs that you need for an emergency, pain pills specifically and antibiotics, but that's about it. I can think of no other prescription drug that can help you except for maybe in an emergency situation if you have a, a hypertension.